Right, in this situation, we're going to check which of these choices right here is linearly independent. Remember, linearly dependent means that two functions are constant multiple of each other, but for the independent, I will just indicate this right here. Not constant multiple right, of each other. Not, most, not a constant multiple of each other. Alright, so what we are going to do is, I can either show you if they are constant multiple each other or not, right? I will go through the list. First one, this is what we have. And you see this is sine of 2t and this is cosine t sine t. Well, I have a double angle here. I can rewrite this as 2 sine t times cosine t, isn't it? And you notice this right away, right here, right? You can say that y1, which is just that, 2 times sine t, cosine t, right, let me just put this down in red, because this right here is exactly the same as y2. Of course, the order of multiplication doesn't matter, so this is saying 2 times y2. Therefore, y1 is equal to 2 times y2. It is a constant multiple, right? Therefore, this right here is LD, right? Linearly dependent. That's not what we want, though. We want LI. So, no. How about the next one? Uh, I have TQ minus AT, and then this is 4TQ minus 32T. All I, have to do, all I have to do is multiply this by 4, right? So, or well, maybe look at this way. I can multiply this by a quarter. So, up to you. How do you want to do it? I'll show you real quick, though. Y1 is equal to that, which is t cubed minus a t, which is the same as saying, I can look at this and divide it by 4, which is the same as multiply by 1 over 4. And I can put this down as that, 4 t cubed minus 32 t. And of course, this is the same as saying 1 over 4 times y2. So once again, for choice B, they are constant multiple each other, so they are LD, right? So that's that. And then first of all, this is choice A, and this is my choice B. And now let's look at choice C. Uh, it's slightly trickier, but it's not that bad, though, because if you pay attention to this, 1 minus sine squared t is what? This is nothing but just cosine squared t, isn't it? And right here, you have 2 times that, right? But I will just show you guys the work, though. So this is choice C. Y1 is that 1 minus sine squared t, which I put it down over there for you guys already, which is the same as saying cosine squared t, right? Trick identity. Well, I want to make it look like it's a constant multiple of the second one. I have 2. I don't want a 2. I can fix that by multiplying by 1 half. 1 half times 2, right? And we have the cosine 2t. They cancel, and you'll see this is 1 half times this is y2. So once again, constant multiple of each other. LD again. Last one. This is e to the 3t, and this is t times e to the 3t. I have some multiple, but this is t times the first one. It's not constant multiple, though. This right here. It's good, it's bad. It's good uh, because that's the answer, because it's not a constant multiple. It's bad because it's not constant multiple, because it's not linearly dependent, whichever you want to look at. Anyways, this right here, once again, e to the 3t and t e to the 3t, they are linearly independent because they are not constant multiple of each other. That's it.